Okay, dear students, for today's lesson, aaralin natin ang iba't ibang properties on operations of integers. The first one is the closure property. It states that the sum or product of integers is also an integer. Kung meron tayong a and b as our integers, ang kanilang sum or product ay element din ng set of integers. For example, we have 5 and 9. Kung kukuhanin natin ang kanilang sum, 5 plus 9, it will be equal to 14. And we all know that 14 is still an integer. At kung kukuhanin natin ang product ng 5 and 9, it will be equal to 45. And still, 45 is an integer. Yun lang ang ibig sabihin ng closure property na kapag nag-add or nag-multiply tayo ng dalawang integers, ang magiging result din ay laging integer. Next is the commutative property. It states that the order of addends or factors does not affect the sum or product. Tandaan natin ang salitang order. In this property, hindi nakakaapekto ang order ng addends or factors sa kanilang sum or product. Paghiwalayin muna natin sila as addition and multiplication. Unahin natin ang addition. Representing it using A and B, we can have A plus B at kapag binaligtad natin ng order niya, which will become B plus A, ay hindi magbabago ang kanilang sum. For example, we have 5 plus 9 which is equal to 14. Kapag binaligtad natin ang kanilang order, which will become 9 plus 5, still, ang sum pa rin nila ay 14. Paano naman kung meron tayong signed numbers? Magiging true pa rin ba ang ating commutative property? For example, we have 5 plus negative 9, which is equal to negative 4. Kung magbabalik na rin natin ang kanilang order, Makakakuha pa rin kaya tayo ng sum na negative 4? Let us see. We will now have negative 9 plus 5. Do you know what is the sum of negative 9 and 5? If your answer is negative 4, you are correct. And still, kahit meron tayong signed numbers, hindi pa rin nagbago ang kanilang sum kahit nagkapalit sila ng order. Let us now try the commutative property in multiplication. We all know that 5 times 9 is 45. Pero kung pagpapalitin natin sila ng order, which will become 9 times 5, still, the product is 45. Hindi pa rin nagbago ang kanilang product kahit na nagbago ang order ng factors. Let us also try this in signed numbers. If we have negative 5 times positive 9, the product is negative 45. At kapag pinagpalit natin ang kanilang order, which will become 9 times negative 5, still, the product is negative 45. Wala pa rin na bago. Let us now have the third one, which is the associative property. It states that the groupings of addends or factors does not affect the sum or product. Kung sa commutative property ang pinag-uusapan ay ang order, in this property is the groupings. Unahin muna ulit natin ang associative property for addition. Let us use A, B, and C as our integers. If we have the quantity of A plus B plus C, Ang nakagroup dito ay ang A and B. And this will be equal to A plus the quantity of B plus C, wherein ang nakagroup naman ay ang B and C. Let us try this using integers. If we have 4, 7, and 2 as our A, B, and C respectively, we will have the quantity of 4 plus 7 plus 2 which is equal to 13. Kapag binago natin ang groupings, which will become 4 plus the quantity of 7 plus 2, mababago kaya ang sum? Of course not. Still, this is equal to 13. Paano naman kung meron tayong signed numbers? 
if we have the quantity of negative 4 plus 7 plus 2 and this is equal to 3 plus 2 which is 5. At kapag binago natin ang groupings which will become negative 4 plus the quantity of 7 plus 2, sa tingin nyo ba ay mababago ang kanilang sum? Of course not. Still, this will be equal to negative 4 plus 9 which is 5. And that is the associative property of addition. Let us now try the associative property of multiplication. If we let a, b, and c as our integers, if we have the quantity of a times b multiplied by c, ang nakagroup dito ay ang a and b, at ito ay parehas lang din kung ito ay gagawin natin a multiplied by the quantity of b times c, na ang nakagroupo naman ay ang b and c. For example, the quantity of the product of 3 and 2 multiplied by 4, which is equal to 6 times 4, and the product is 24. Pero, kung pagpapalitin natin ang group at gagawin natin 3 multiplied by the product of 2 times 4, at ito ay magiging 3 times 8, which is also equal to 24. Kung mapapansin natin, kahit pagbalik na rin natin ang grouping sila, still, magiging magkaparehas pa rin sila ng product. And that is the associative property of multiplication. Now, let us have the distributive property. In this property, lagi lang nating tandaan ang to distribute or to give each other. This property states that the product of an integer multiplied to the sum of two other integers equals the sum of the product of the first integer and each of the addends. Simple lang yan. Let us have a, b, and c again as our integers. At this time, kung meron tayong a multiplied by the quantity of b plus c, ang sagot nito ay equal lang din kung i-distribute natin si a kay b and c, which will become a times b plus a times c. For example, we have 4 multiplied by the quantity of 5 plus 3. Doing this using PEMDAS, we will have 4 times 8, which is equal to 32. Pero kung gagamitin natin ang word na to distribute or to give each other, meaning multiply natin si 4 sa 5 at sa 3, which will become 4 times 5 plus 4 times 3, which is equal to 20 plus 12, and that is equal to 32. Still, parehas pa rin sila ng sagot. Another example, gamit naman ang signed numbers. If we have negative 4 multiplied by the quantity of 6 plus 5, magiging equal pa rin kaya siya sa negative 4 times 6 plus negative 4 times 5? Let us see. On the left-hand side, we have negative 4 times 11, which is equal to negative 44. On the right-hand side, we have negative 24 plus negative 20, which is also equal to 44. Still, their answers are still equal to each other, and that is what meant by the distributive property. Let us also have the fifth property, and that is the identity property. Let us have first the additive identity property. This property states that the sum of any number and zero is the given number itself. Meaning, kahit anong number ang i-add natin kay zero, ang makukuha natin na sum ay the number itself. For example, if we have negative 4 plus 0 is equal to negative 4, another is 0 plus 9 is equal to 9, another one is negative 1 plus 0 is equal to negative 1. Tandaan, the identity element for addition is 0. And if we have the multiplicative identity property, this property states that the product of any number and 1 is the given number itself. Meaning, 
kahit anong i-multiply natin kay 1, ang makukuha natin na product ay the number itself. For example, if we have negative 3 times 1 is equal to negative 3. Next one is 10 times 1 is equal to 10. Another example is negative 8 times 1 is equal to negative 8. Tandaan, the identity property for multiplication is 1. Let us now have the last property, which is the inverse property. When we say inverse, ito yung opposite ng isang number. Unahin natin ang additive inverse. This property states that the sum of any number added by its additive inverse or its opposite is 0. For example, if we have negative 1 plus 1, dahil nag-add tayo ng same numbers pero magkaiba ng sign, ang sum nila ay 0. At katulad lamang ito ng 0 pairs. Another example, if we have 9 plus negative 9, again, same number pero magkaiba ng sign, ang sum nila ay 0. Tandaan lang natin lagi na ang additive inverse ng isang integer ay ang kanyang opposite. Paano naman kung ito ay multiplicative inverse? This property states that the product of any number and its multiplicative inverse or its reciprocal is 1. Pero paano nga ba natin nakuha ang reciprocal ng isang number? Makukuha natin ang reciprocal ng isang number kapag ginamit natin ito as a divisor of 1 or we divide 1 by the given number. For example, we have 7. Para malaman natin ang reciprocal ng 7, i-divide lang natin ang 1 by 7, which will become 1 over 7. O sa simpleng paraan, we're just flipping it over. Halimbawa, ang number na 7 ay may denominator na 1. Kapag finlip natin ito, ito ay magiging 1 over 7. Going back to our multiplicative inverse, if we have 7, Kapag minultiply natin ito sa kanyang reciprocal which is 1 over 7, the answer is 1. Another example, if we have negative 9 multiplied by its reciprocal which is negative 1 over 9, still, the product is 1. Last example, if we have 1 over 10, if we will multiply it to its reciprocal which is 10, the product is 1. Tandaan lang lagi na ang multiplicative inverse ng isang integer ay ang kanyang reciprocal. Yan ang mga properties on operations of integers. Lagi natin silang tandaan dahil ito ay gagamitin natin sa iba't ibang lesson natin sa math. That will be all for today. See you again!